Hey y'all, Driver the Ruler, back with another one. I've gotten a lot of questions about this little scar right here between my eyes. And also I posted a video and told y'all that I fought a lot before I went to prison. I fought all the time. So this is one of the fights I got into, right? So I think it was, I was like 16 or 17. It was Martin Luther King Day and we had a block party down there where I'm from. So me and my friend, this was like my best friend for like so long. We was at the block party. We was just, you know, hanging out, having a nice time. And was this girl, and we're going to call her Brittany. Brittany is not her name, but just so we don't confuse the story, we're going to call her Brittany. So Brittany, apparently, I guess she had issues with these girls from out of town. She came over there to me and my best friend and she's like, oh yeah, you see them girls right there? Like, I don't like them and they don't like me. So me and my friend, like, okay you know that's nice like what they got to do with us okay if you don't like her and she don't like you i what they got to do with us now the girl Brittany, i knew her but we was by no means friends we just knew each other we didn't have any issues or anything so we knew her but we didn't roll together we ain't hang together we ain't no situation in life you ever seen us in the same car together and it's, it just didn't happen right so she was like she had issues with the girls they was from out of town so we like I Brittany was like hanging around me and my friend a lot. We'll be over here hanging out, and then she'll come hang out too. So looking back, I feel like the girl associated Brittany with us and felt like we was like in some clique and we hung together and like we was our friends. So unbeknownst to me and my friend, they beef had done got delegated down to us, unbeknownst to me. So the girls from out of town everywhere we was they was migrating like they'll end up beside us so you know i ain't paying no attention i don't know these people so we just having a good time so the girl the one of the girl i guess it was like they rang leader she kept getting extremely close to me like you know when you dancing people like drinking and all that kind of stuff like they be stumbling it's like they don't understand depth perception so it's like they start getting too close to you so you you know you move up give them some room or whatever like you know give her some room so i kept moving every time she'll come beside me and she'll go to like doing too much i moved to give us some room but every time i moved and went somewhere else she ended up beside me so we standing there and i'm just like you know dancing to the music and she had like some long micros in her hair so she went like slinging her hair like all over the place so now it's like yeah you know, I'm, I'm trying to weave out of the way of her hair because she keeps slinging it so now mind you i have been moving out your way all night okay and remember, I told y'all, I only know how to deal with stuff one way. So I tried to get her the benefit of the doubt multiple times. I kept moving, but she kept slanging that house. So now I'm getting irritated because it's like, you follow me everywhere I go. Okay, I'm trying to give you some, some space to have a good time. But you keep coming in my space and I can't have a good time because I keep trying to move around you so you can have a good time. And I don't even know you. Okay, so then I like tapped her on her shoulder because her hair like literally did a matrix across my face. So I tapped her on her shoulder and I'm like, I'm pissed off at this point. So she turns and she looks and I'm like, you need to calm down with all that because you almost hit me in the face with your hair. So she was like, what? And I was like, like I said, you need to calm down with all. And before I could finish my sentence, she mushed me. Now, when she mushed me, I did not know this girl's name. I had never seen her before. I ain't know her. Okay. So she mushed me. So when she mushed me, I was kind of shocked. Because I ain't know this lady. So when she mushed me, it took me all of like a split second. So I was like, my head went back. And then when my head came forward, I hit her. Okay? And when I hit her, I ain't stopped hitting her. So I'm talking about we just sitting there. I would say we was going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but it really wasn't a toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So I'm just giving it to her. Because first of all, you done been following me all night. I don't know what your problem is. I don't know if you know me. Because I fought so much that... I would end up fighting somebody that I didn't know because they was cool with somebody else that had already fought. So I don't know if somebody that I had already fought was related to you or something like that. But now I'm starting to feel like it was personal. So I mean, I'm just giving it to her. all I got. You know, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then out of nowhere, my best friend, she comes. She ain't gonna never let me fight by myself if she does. So she comes and she just on the side and she just like hitting the girl. So the girl dropping in and literally like me and my friend is like competing over who gonna take over the fight because I'm fighting and she trying to take over my fight, but you're not gonna little boy me and take over my fight. Like I need you to take over my fight. So we literally like trying to push each other out the way to take control of the fight. And she like, she's way bigger than me. Like not way bigger than me, but I'm like, I'm like one, 20 at the time and my friend she was thick always so she like 160 so she trying to use her weight to move me out the way but baby you're not moving me out the way 
we boom so now we get a down i'm talking about my friend on one side i'm on the other side i'm trying to move out of the way i'm just we just we just demolishing the girl right dragging her by her hair hair coming out i'm kneeing her in the face i'm punching her all over the place now she leaking me and my friend we will not stop so they ended up breaking up the fight then me being me all ratchet and all that kind of stuff so when they break up the fight now i'm hype okay i'm hype for real now so i'm like yeah i was like this is what you wanted i was like yeah come get some so i'm selling out trying to antagonize her to come get beat up again right so the whole time i'm standing there and i'm like concentrating on her like i'm selling i'm trying to you know get her to run back up all i know is i feel a pressure okay the friend of the girls out of town i guess she went to the trunk and seeing what was happening her friend and she was like y'all thought okay y'all thought it was gonna happen like that so she come from this direction over here because i did not see her so she come from over here and i just feel pressure i didn't even see nothing all i felt was pressure she hit me in the face with a metal bat they said the bat was purple and silver now why somebody could tell me how the bat looked and they ain't grab her or damn near her is beyond me okay don't tell me what color the bat was tell me how much your bond was from how you knocked her out for hitting me but anyways so she came from this way and she hit me in the face with a bat so i didn't know i got hit with a bat i thought i got hit with like a rock a um bottle or something and my adrenaline was already rushing so when she hit me i felt the pressure but i didn't feel like no pain like it didn't hurt she didn't knock me out of anything but i felt the you know the pressure hit me in the face so at this point like i'm bent over and i got my hands on my knees and like blood is just like i guess just falling i ain't know because i got hit in the eyes so my thought was to close my eyes my i i felt like if i open my eyes my eyes was gonna pop out the socket so i'm sitting there eyes closed blood dripping down and everybody like let me see let me see and i'm like no i'm thirsty you know what i'm saying go give me some to drink like i'm thirsty why was i thirsty i don't know if losing that much blood was because i lost a lot of blood i don't know if losing that much blood was making me dehydrated or if it was just a mind thing and i was like give me something to drink so i can have something else to think about but i'm sitting there my hands on my knees everybody trying to see my face i'm like no man just go give me something to drink man i'm good i'm good just go give me something to drink so my mama ended up coming where she was i have no idea but one thing about that lady anytime i got into a fight it's like she just magically appeared like where you come from so I hear my mom and she like, you know, Java. So she grabbing me and everything. And then she like put me in her Jeep. She had a Jeep at the time, Jeep Cherokee. So she put me in the Jeep and she like sit down. So my eyes still closed. So then she like throw my hair back and she looked and my mama start like freaking out. So my eyes are still closed. So when I hear her like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at your face, my baby face. Like she's freaking out. So when she starts freaking out, I start freaking out. So I'm like, what's going on? So I'm like hyperventilating and everything. Cause I'm feeling like I look like Freddie Cougar because of how my mama acting. You would have swore like half of this piece of my face was completely off how she was acting. So I'm like freaking out. So now that she's freaking out, I'm freaking out. The adrenaline is starting to wear off. So they don't call the ambulance. I get in the ambulance. So now, like, my face is hurting so bad that I can't even cry. Like, just the <laughs> was hurting. So I was just like, ooh, ooh. I couldn't even cry because the pressure in my face. I could finally feel the pain because the adrenaline had done wore off. So it hurt it so bad. I, all I could do was, <laughs> and I got in the ambulance. I swear the lights in the ambulance was giving me the worst headache. It felt like they had football stadium lights right here in my face it was giving me the worst migraine and the people in the ambulance was cleaning my face well it felt like they was doing like this like it hurt it so bad like i was trying to push their hand away because i swear they was doing like this trying to clean like why is y'all using all that force but the my friend was in the ambulance with me and she was like they was barely touching you but i felt like they was trying y'all work with her that's what it is y'all work for the girl who hit me y'all from labelle too because them girls who did that was from labelle so if y'all from labelle watching watching my video but y'all this the ambulance from labelle got to be because y'all is y'all here to finish the job she tried to kill me then succeed and sent y'all here to finish the job so i get to the hospital and they asking me if i want stitches and all that my mom and i got there and i'm like no i don't want no stitches and my mama like called me everything but a child of god like she was like girl you're dumb behind like you get some stitches and i was like it's not i still ain't seen it so she's like give her some stitches okay so they had to shoot me with whatever numbs it in order for them to like you know stitch it up so they shooting me with it and i feel the needle and they're like do you feel do you still feel pain yes so they kept shooting me with a needle and they're like do you feel pain yes i feel pain so they're like do you know the difference between pain and pressure listen okay 
listen if it was numb i wouldn't feel a needle going through my face like yes i know the difference so they ended up giving me some penicillin percocet pen one whichever one numbs you okay they gave me one of those and i ended up it made me throw up i don't know what it was but baby i don't take pills okay so my body is like girl what's going on you don't got hit in the face now you're trying to kill us so i ended up throwing that up they had to put me to sleep to give me stitches because nothing was working i don't know why my body did not want to be numbed but nothing was working so they put me to sleep they gave me stitches so when i finally got to see my face I wish I still had those pictures. They're on my laptop that I, from, I, my mama kept my laptop from way back in the day, but I don't, I forgot the password. So I don't know how to get in the laptop, but I wish I could show y'all them pictures. The stitches was right here. Both of my eyes were swole. I could not see. It's like they swole shut at different times. This one was swole shut and then this one was barely open. And then this one swole shut and this one was barely open. But both of my eyes was swollen. They was black the i had a big ugh, this is the scar now so like you can see it's kind of four it was like this and it had to fold this fold this and then stitch it together i did not break my nose i had a they said it was a hairline fracture but it did not break well her light behind because baby i played softball if i hit you with a bat down goes frazier but my eyes was black and honestly it was black for a long time. I feel like that's still why I got dark circles under my eyes. I feel like they permanently black my eyes. So I do not know the girl name of who hit me with the bat. I found out the girl name of the one we was fighting. And the only thing I know about the girl who hit me with the bat that she was big and she was black. And that could be anybody. Every time I see somebody big and black, I'd be like, it was probably you. But I never seen those people again. And that is how I got this scar, because I got hit in the face with a bat. That is, That was the first time I got hit with a bat, but it was not the last time, okay? Second time, because I've only been assaulted with a bat twice. The second time, I was hit four times, and it was a dude. That's a whole... It was a guy. Yeah, so that's a whole nother story for another day. But I told y'all, like, I was... Cr I was hell on wheels, Okay? And I I ain't sell drugs. I wasn't trafficking cocaine, even though I went to prison for it. But if something wouldn't have slowed me down, I ain't no telling where I would have ended up. So I appreciate the breaks, even though, you know, some expensive breaks. But I appreciate the breaks because I did need some slowing down. But that is all I have. Until next time.